Hey FR Sky fans, this is Steve. I'm with FR Sky in North America and I am here today to talk to you about setting up a throttle cut and also recording tel telemetry logs. Um, throttle cuts, I cannot emphasize enough how important they are. I've seen probably 10 people, some of them very well respected people in our industry, sometimes lose a couple months worth of flying out of a year because they tore up their hands. Um, with a propeller and they're fortunate because you can cut yourself so badly that you can lose digits fingers and you can also um, if you don't lose them per se you can make them so that they don't work very well in the future and might interfere with the, your enjoyment of the hobby so let's talk about setting up a throttle cut very easy to do let me show you where it's at we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go into the main home screen. Let me show you. You can hit the model, which is the same as hitting this. Well, we'll hit this for the hell of it. Mixer. That's the little airplane icon. Go into Mixer. Third one down is Throttle. Just remember three. Third one down is Throttle. Third, go into Edit. Third one down is Throttle Cut. Um, the active condition is it's blank right there. Why is it blank? It's because it's not a stick command. Stick commands always, um, you always know what they are. They're going to be a certain position. They're going to do certain things. You can control the elevator, throttle, something else like that. But a throttle cut is going to be set up on either a switch, a slider, or a knob. So we're going to set this up on a switch and to set it up on a switch all I have to do is select it once and I'm going to use F. So this, I want switch F up. Switch F up means that it's the furthest away from the front of the radio. It's the long skinny switch next to the left side of the screen. It's a two position switch. Switch F up means that it's on. Uh, it means that when I turn the throttle cut on, it's furthest away from the front of the radio, and you can see that it's on right now. And when I engage switch F again, um, you have to forgive me. There we go. This on my PC for whatever reason it's a little kludgy. Anyways, that's switch F is off. That means switch F is closest to the front of the radio. Okay, so that is your throttle cut, and that's all there is to know about it. And when you have that enabled, throttle cut's on. When it's disabled, throttle cut is off. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and create one more thing, and this is going to use the same switch. And it's on the next screen in the models uh, page. It's called a special function. And I'm going to show you how to set it up first, and I'll describe what it does later. So, uh, by default, it's reset. We don't want that. I want to go all the way down to write logs. It's the very bottom. Switch on enable. Switch it from always on. And this time, we're going to use switch F one more time. But I want switch F down. So, when the throttle cut is disabled, what it's going to do is record a log. By default, it's every 250 milliseconds. That means every four times a second or every quarter of a second is recording a log. If I do it to 1,000 milliseconds, that means once a second it's recording a log. And that's pretty much all the information you really need. You can see it's blinking right there. Uh, it means the reason it goes out is because there's, it has some downtime writing between um, files. And that one second, it has some time to rest. Okay, so that is set up. Now, what is inside of a telemetry log file and where do you find them at? Where you find them is on the SD card They're under the logs file. It's stored by the name of the file, which in this case is 182, and the day's date. Um, again, I'm going I'm to turn this off. Let's when I enable the throttle cut. It's turned off. Uh, and what gets recorded is whatever telemetry your receiver is capable of showing. So most of the time, it's the RSSI radio radio signal strength indicator um, and what that 
does is when the smaller the number gets, well, I'll put it to you this way. When your transmitter's next to your plane, your RSSI is going to be about 100. As you start flying away, it's going to start dropping down to the 50s and 40s and maybe even fly far enough away into the 30s. Um, and that means that it's getting further and further away from the transmitter and starting to lose uh, range. But the 900 megahertz should take over. And what's interesting is you kind of want to see, you know, how long you're flying, how often that your RSSI on 2.4 gigahertz dropped to nearly nothing, and how often what the signal strength was on 900 megahertz. All this is recorded. It's recorded on a log file. It's found on your SD card, um, saved by the, the name of the plane and the date. And that's all you need to know about that. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm Steve at frskynegativerc.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.